Hey everyone, this is Julia and welcome back to Crocoblock channel. In this tutorial, we're going to build a fully functional WoW product listing using only Jet Engine tools, in particular dynamic tags, for getting data from WooCommerce. And by the way, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And now, let's get started. To make it work properly, we're gonna use a WooCommerce dynamic tags with the WooCommerce product query listing. So let's start with creating a query. Go to the WordPress dashboard, Jet Engine, Query Builder. Click on Add New button. Let's name the query, for example, Product. And in the query type, make sure to select the last option, the WooCommerce Product Query. Product status will be any. Now hit the Add Query button and proceed to the listings to build a listing item. In the Setup Listing Item window, set Query Builder as a listing source and in the Query, select the one you created in the previous step. Don't forget to name the listing and once you're done, Hit the Create a Listing Item button. I'm gonna add a section and set its width. The first element here will be an image. Add an image widget. Select the size. Adjust alignment. And now instead of choosing an image from the library, we will pull it using the dynamic tags. If you want to know more about it, don't hesitate to check our video tutorial on how to use the Crocoblock plugin's dynamic tags. So click the dynamic tags button right here and choose a WooCommerce product image. Here you go. To make it clickable, set custom URL for the link. And below again, hit Dynamic Tags, choose a WooCommerce product field from the list, and lastly, in the field, select Product URL. OK, now let's display the product title. Simply add a heading, proceed to the title settings, and click the Dynamic Tags button. Choose WooCommerce Product Field tag, and this time we will select Title for the field. To add a link, repeat the steps we did with the image by choosing again a WooCommerce Product Field and Product URL. By the way, if you're building the listing template for the first time, I suggest you take a look at our detailed video tutorial. To display the rating, apply Star Rating Widget. In the rating, select the same tag WooCommerce Product Field. And in the Settings window, choose Average Rating. As for the product price, let's apply text editor widget this time. Set again WooCommerce product field tag and select price HTML string for the field. And of course, we need add to cart button. Add a default button widget and adjust the alignment. I'm sure you already know what tag we're gonna use, yes, WooCommerce product field one. And for the field, we will select add to cart text. Repeat the same steps for the link. 
but this time choose Add to cart URL in the field. Great! Once you're done with the styling, update the listing template and go back to the WordPress dashboard. We will display the listing item in the grid. Open any page or add a new one and proceed to the Elementor editor. Let's apply the listing grid widget and in the listing right here, choose the listing item you've just created. Of course, you can adjust the column's number as well as the number of posts. Update the page and let's check the front end. Here is a listing grid with products and everything works properly. There is a book cover, title, rating, price and add to cart button. The only thing I would adjust is the style of the sale price. As you can see, it's a bit different and of course you can leave it as it is. However, to make it of the same style as the main price, go back to the listing template and edit it. Select the text editor widget with the price, proceed to the advanced tab and enter listing-price to the CSS classes. The last step, go to the WordPress dashboard Appearance – Customize Click on the last option here – Additional CSS Simply copy and paste this piece of code from the description box under this video and don't forget to hit Publish Here is the final result Since we displayed the sale price, I think it would be nice to add a timer that will be counting down to the end of a specific sale. Edit your listing template and apply the countdown timer widget. Under the general, I will turn off the seconds and then proceed to the settings. In the due date, click the dynamic tags button, select a WooCommerce product field tag and then choose Date on Sale 2. That's pretty much it with the settings. Adjust the timer size and width. And don't forget to style the timer. I will also add a heading that says Sale ends in. Now I'm gonna open the page with the listing grid and refresh it. Here is a countdown timer, however we have two issues. The timer works incorrectly and there are only zeros. Secondly, it is visible on all products and we need only ones with a sale price. Let's fix the first issue. The timer requires a certain period of time of sale to be scheduled. I'm gonna open this book in the new tab since it has a sale price. Once you edit the product, scroll down to the general and hit schedule. Choose a sale price date and update the product. I will refresh the page and now this book has the correct timer. And don't forget to set the dates for the rest of your products. As for the second issue, we will hide the timer on those products that are not on sale. It can be easily done with the help of dynamic visibility. Go back to the listing template and enable dynamic visibility on the countdown timer widget. 
Visibility condition type will be show element if condition met. Now unfold conditions and select greater than from the list. In the field, we will add the WooCommerce product field tag and then choose date on sale too. Enter now into the value field bar and lastly, set date time as a data type. If you've also added a heading or any other element, then make sure to set the same dynamic visibility conditions. OK, I'm going to refresh the page. And now the timer is visible only on this product where I scheduled the sale date. I also set the sale dates for the rest of the products and here is the final result. What's more, it is also possible to display the WooCommerce badges using the same tools. Let me show you how to add sale and bestseller badges. Edit the listing template. And let's add a heading. I will change the title and adjust its position. Of course, you will also need to style the badge. Now, we will repeat the same steps we did with the timer. With the help of dynamic visibility, we will hide the badge on the products that are not on sale. Proceed to the Advanced tab, unfold dynamic visibility, and enable it. Set conditions to exist. Select a WooCommerce product field. And lastly, choose plain sale price in the field. That's it. Here is the result on the front end. The batch is visible only on sale products. The same process will be with the bestseller one. Simply duplicate the sale batch, change the title and adjust the background color. For this one, there will be different visibility settings, so set condition to greater than. And finally, enter the needed number to the value field bar. For example, the products that have more than 10 sales will have a bestseller badge. Don't forget to adjust the badge position and let's check how it looks on the front end. Great, so there is the timer and also sale and bestseller badges displayed correctly. Now you know how to build a WoW products listing with the Jet Engine from scratch. This will be it for today's tutorial. Hit the like button if it was useful for you. Also, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and don't forget to check the links in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.